what did you have before you you came in here? Did you did, were you already wearing a denture? Or did uh, no, you have... no, I had my own teeth, but I was missing uh, bicuspids uh, upper and lower, mm -hmm. and a couple of molars, and uh, I was in the process of getting a, a bridge work done when we got the idea that uh, maybe uh, instead of a removable bridge, uh, an implant might work. So uh, we came over here, and by that time I was missing probably uh, at least a third of my teeth. Uh, I had to learn not to smile. <laughs> you know, that was, uh, you know, and, and that worked pretty good. <laughs> and uh, look, you know, if I didn't, people would be like a little, you know, they would be talking and then suddenly they'd be a little bit off put by what they're seeing, you know. And happily, it all came together. And Dr. Chen was fantastic. And this is a man that is so dedicated. <laughs> because uh, my aunt came with me. And she's a doctor's wife. So, ah. so uh, she, she thought he was terrific. And she's going to come here, too, uh, I think, this summer to have some work done. So her, her bone, I don't know if they're going to do the whole thing, but they're going to do a partial or something like that. And so we met him first. And Dr. Chen uh, looked everything over. Very pleasant, very businesslike. Uh, explains everything that's going on. And you know that this man really cares about what he's doing. Because I, I I've been to dentists. <laughs> And, uh, and I'm not being paid to say this, it's just true. You know, he was a very dedicated man and, and serious and, uh, you know, pleasant but no nonsense. So uh, he took a look at things and felt it could be done. Then uh, Dr. Cunning came in. And uh, he, I, I, I've heard of him because I, I've heard his uh, advertisements. And a uh, very pleasant man, very, really nice man. He uh, took a look at uh, my mouth, and uh, they did all these impressions and uh, uh, things of that sort. And happily, uh, I, I was considered a candidate for the procedure. I, I got in the chair, and I kind of expected that it would not be painful because I had one time earlier I had uh, uh, I was knocked out for an, a molar extraction, and I didn't feel anything, so I wasn't uh, too concerned about that. So uh, what I thought was about maybe a few minutes later. It was actually five hours later when I looked at the clock, <laughs> you know. So all during all of that really tough stuff when they were uh, doing uh, the drilling and the gum cutting and all of that uh, nice thing, I had no awareness of it at all. Uh, it felt uh, there was discomfort, as you would expect, having all that done and the stitches and everything, but uh, it there was no pain, and to this day. <laughs> so and they're, they're tight, they fit good. Uh, the follow-up was great. You mentioned in in the beginning that you uh, you sort of learned to hide your your teeth when you smiled or laughed. I had to. Yeah, I was just a, you know, a socially the right thing to do, you know, unless you're with somebody you know. But uh, yeah, I did, and I, I I learned very well to to do a grin smile like. <laughs> there you go. And that was it. You know. Do you, do you think that was affecting relationships yes. oh, terribly. and your self confidence? Oh, and... I was aware of it every time I uh, every time I encountered someone. That's the first thing I had to do, and this went on for a couple of years, and I don't do that anymore. And so it's it's kind of a burden lifted. Is there anything that you've you've wanted to do that you've sort of put off? Yeah, just feel good about being in front of a camera when they're taking pictures, and I hate it when my mother breaks out pictures. I uh, breaks out the camera. And she starts going, she's the world's worst uh, picture taker because she won't, you know, click it for about four minutes. <laughs> We're like dying. And that's, uh, uh, so, you know, I've always hated it when, I, when the good cameras come out. Uh, and now I can, I can do that. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if there's anything I always wanted to do other than just not have to hide <laughs> the yeah. smile, you know. Um, um, were your friends and family you know, pleased with, with the Very. way things look? They're the ones that kept telling me to get in here. And I, I, I said, no, 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 I, I, I can't, uh, I don't want to <laughs> do that. No, 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 it's too frightening and, 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 but, and costly and uh, all of that. But uh, they were thrilled. They're probably as happy as I am <laughs> that I did this. They're thrilled.